class to video recording so that we can have a more interactive class. We thought that if we meet online, if all of us meet online together, that the class will be more fun. But there were limitations as to what we can do on Google Meet. So here we are. Mrs. Chung will have her music class sometimes in the living room and sometimes in the kitchen. So you can find your comfortable place and convenient time to have the music class too. Just as we used to do in our regular music class, we're going to begin our lesson with the vocal warm-up and we're going to have um, singing time. We're going to sing the school-wide song and we're going to have the rhythm time and we're going to have the lesson. Okay, so let's begin the class. Let's do our vocal warm-up. The words are Warming up our voices, ready, set, let's go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, mi, so, fa, mi, re, do. Now let's do the hand sign for the do, re, mi. Do, re, mi, fa, so, mi, so, fa, mi, re, do. Warm, warming up our voices, ready, set, let's go. Okay, let's sing our vocal warm up. We're going to go up the scales as we go.
great job. Now we're going to play our rhythm. You can go get your instruments to play the rhythm. For Mrs. Chung, I'm going to use my pencils, color crayon pencils to tap the rhythms. When you play the rhythm, make sure you say it too. Now I play the black note and you play the pink note. Okay, let's go. Now let's go. Ta 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 ta. Your turn. Let's go. Ti 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 ta ta. Ta ti 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 ta. Ta ti ti ta ti ti. Ta ta ta. Ti ti. Good job. This time, you are going to play the black note and I will play the pink note. Ready? Now we're going to listen to a story called Peter and the Wolf. This story is unique, actually. It's a musical composition written by a musician, Sergei Prokofiev. Each character is represented by an instrument or group of instruments. So listen to the story and try to figure out which instrument you are hearing and which character's music is being played. Have fun! This is the story of Peter and the Wolf. Now, in our story, the characters are represented by instruments in the symphony orchestra. For example, the bird by the high sounds of the flute. The duck is played by the gorgeous oboe. The cat is played by the beautiful clarinet. The grandfather by the very low bassoon. is played by three mean horns. Peter is played by the string section of the orchestra.
and the rifle shots are played by the kettle drum and the big drum. And here is our story. Early one morning, Peter opened the gate and went out into the big green meadow. On a branch of a big tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, all is quiet, chirped the bird gaily. Just then, a duck came waddling round. She was glad that Peter had not closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. Seeing the duck, the little bird flew down upon the grass, settled next to her and shrugged his shoulders. What kind of a bird are you if you can't fly, said he. To this the duck replied, What kind of a bird are you if you can't swim? And dived into the pond. argued and argued, the duck swimming in the pond, the little bird hopping along the shore.
suddenly, something caught Peter's attention. He noticed a cat crawling through the grass. Cat thought, the bird is busy arguing. I'll just grab him. Stealthily, she crept toward him on her velvet paws. Look out, shouted Peter, and the bird immediately flew up into the tree. While the duck quacked angrily at the cat. From the middle of the pond, of course. walked round the tree and thought, is it worth climbing up so high? By the time I get there, the bird will have flown away. Grandfather came out. He was angry because Peter had gone into the meadow. It is a dangerous place. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then what would you do? Peter paid no attention to his grandfather's words. Boys like him are not afraid of wolves. Grandfather took Peter by the hand, locked the gate, and led him home. No sooner had Peter gone than a big gray wolf came out of the forest.
quick as a flash, the cat climbed up the tree. The duck quacked and, in her excitement, jumped out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, she couldn't escape the wolf. He was getting nearer and nearer and nearer and nearer, catching up with her. And then he got her, and with one gulp, swallowed her. And now, this is how things stood. The cat was sitting on one branch. The bird on another. Not too close to the cat. And the wolf walked round and round the tree, looking at them with greedy eyes. Time, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate watching all that was going on. He ran home, found a strong rope, and climbed up the high stone wall. One of the branches of the tree around which the wolf was walking stretched out over the wall. Grabbing hold of the branch, Peter lightly climbed over onto the tree. Peter said to the bird, fly down and circle round the wolf's head. Only take care that he doesn't catch you.
The bird almost touched the wolf's head with his wings, while the wolf snapped angrily at him from this side and from that side. How the bird did worry the wolf, how he wanted to catch him. But the bird was cleverer, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peter made a lasso, and carefully letting it down, the wolf by the tail and pulled with all his might. <laughs> Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. And the wolf's jumping only made the rope round his tail tighter and tighter. Just then, the hunters came out of the woods. Following the wolf's trail and shooting as they went. Peter, sitting in a tree, said, Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Birdie and I have caught the wolf. Now help us to take him to the zoo. And 
there. Imagine the triumphant procession. Peter at the head. After him, the hunters leading the wolf. procession, Grandfather and the Cat. Grandfather tossed his head discontentedly. Well, if Peter hadn't caught the wolf, what then? Carefully, he could hear the duck quacking inside the wolf because the wolf, in his hurry, had swallowed her alive. 